Good afternoon, everyone. Um, Assalamu alaikum, um, marhaba to Galway and to beautiful Salt Hill. Um, today is a very important day in Salt Hill because um, you're having your conference here and there's also this afternoon a big concert in Salt Hill, an open-air concert. And there's also a big football match taking place today between Galway and Sligo. So there's a lot happening in Salt Hill this afternoon. So this is, for those of you who don't know Galway University Hospital, this is an aerial view of the complex. And this is, up here is our little diabetes centre. Um, and this is where we used to be um, 10 years ago. When we started in diabetes, we had one clinic a week. Um, we had a consultant who um, just did this clinic, and I worked very part-time. And now we have a staff of 30 working in our diabetes centre here. So we've expanded a lot in the last 10 years. And this is a photograph of our diabetes centre. Can you all hear me? No. Okay. Okay. Sorry. This is our diabetes centre here. And this is um, the west of Ireland here. And we, this is the catchment area that we serve. But we also have referrals from uh, Donegal, um, Limerick, and from here as well, from Tullamore and Mullingar to some of our services. So the Diabetes Services GUH, we serve the catchment area of the HC West, Galway, Roscommon and Mayo, with patient referrals from, for some specialist services from the HC North, so that's Donegal, Sligo and Leitrim, and the Midwest, Limerick, Clare and North Tipperary. Uh, we offer care, treatment and education to adults and paediatric patients with type 1 and type 2 diabetes. And in 2011, we saw, uh, we had 15,000 patient visits to our diabetes centre. And we offer many uh, specialist services and structured education programmes. Um, all uh, diabetes clinics are delivered by a diabetes care team, so that's medical, diabetes, nursing, podiatry, dietetic and retinal screening specialists. And the types of clinics we offer are complicated diabetes clinics, diabetes and review clinics, uh, diabetic foot clinics, young adult diabetes clinics, uh, renal clinics, uh, vascular metabolic clinics, lipid clinics, uh, combined antenatal diabetes, pre-pregnancy diabetes clinics and nurse-led clinics. And we do a lot of structured education programs in Galway as well. And we do the Daphne education program, which is a structured education program for people with type 1 diabetes. We do Desmond, which is a structured education program for people with type 2 diabetes. And we do Brucey, which is a structured education program for adolescents with type 1 diabetes. And we do a lot of one-to-one -one education as well. We offer a bariatric medicine uh, clinics, and they are combined medical, surgical, uh, nursing, dietetic, and psychology. And we also do endocrine clinics, uh, polycystic ovary clinics, and radioactive iodine clinics as well. So the background to the visit of the two nurses from Sudan was initiated by Dr. Shadad. And he mediated the communication between the two centres. And the Irish clinical lead was Dr. Sean Deneen. And I was one of the nursing mentors. And my colleague, Lorna Hurney, was another nursing uh, mentor. And we started the work in June 2010. And that included organising um, visas, getting approval from our HR department, um, character and guard the vetting, and indemnity for the two nurses while they were here. Um, we developed a short, uh, skill-focused education program for the four-week um, period. Um, development of a customized timetable and scheduling for this observational attachment. And we asked the two nurses to do some pre-visit reading, which would have included uh, becoming familiar with the, the NICE, the ADA, and the IDF guidelines. 
and we had to try and get accommodation for the two girls and they uh, stayed in our sister hospital in Merlin Park Hospital and when they arrived it was really really cold we had snow and they were absolutely freezing I think for the four weeks they were here so we got them extra blankets and heaters because they were really cold but they did like to see the snow um, and this is a photograph of uh, them when they arrived in the diabetes center um, <clears throat> so there's Shadad uh, Mesa, Khadija, uh, Dr. Janine, myself and Lorna there. So when we looked at developing the program, uh, we, the objective was to develop a short, skill-focused, four-week observational program. And the aim of the program was to identify the learning needs of both nurses, equip both nurses with practical skills and knowledge, which they would be able to propagate to their peers in their own diabetes centre to ensure opportunities to engage with all members of the diabetes team, uh, to ensure a varied program with opportunities to observe specialist clinics as well as new and innovative services, and to ensure opportunities to engage with patients and voluntary services as well. And this is another picture of us outside our diabetes centre on a very nice day. Um, so for support, uh, there was a des designated person was responsible for meeting the nurses each morning, orientating them to their placement for the day, determining their learning needs and objectives for the day, providing any support as required, obtaining feedback on how their day in the centre went, and reviewing their journals uh, and items for discussion. So we encouraged the two nurses to keep journals. So um, their observational attachments included attendance at all of our clinics, adult diabetes clinics, pediatric clinics, obesity clinics, uh, the combined renal and diabetes clinic, uh, young adult clinic, uh, diabetic foot clinics, and dietetic clinics as well. They also got the opportunity to observe um, our retinal screener, Gareth, uh, take photographs, and to attend the um, eye clinic uh, to see patients having laser done. Um, they also attended the pre-pregnancy and antenatal diabetes clinics and they uh, participated in our insulin initi initiation clinics as well. Um, they were very fortunate uh, during the time they were here that we actually had a Desmond program um, going on. We also had a, Def a Daphne program um, being run in the centre and we also had a Brucey program at that time as well. Um, they attended our multidisciplinary meetings every Monday in the Diabetes Day Centre and they also attended um, a session of Cree My Action. This is a community-based um, program that for people over the age of 50 and it, it advocates or enables people to make healthy lifestyle choices and so uh, around food and exercise etc. And they also attended a parent support um, education program. This was delivered by ourselves in Galway, but sponsored by the Diabetes Federation of Ireland. And um, this is a workshop for parents of children with diabetes. And uh, it was delivered by a dietitian, a nurse, and there was also a psychologist there to talk to parents as well about issues about managing diabetes in their children. Um, in addition, you can see I've highlighted here um, other uh, clinics or things that were happening when they were here. And what was happening was that we had World Diabetes Day and we had an information stand in the front foyer of the hospital and Maesa and Khadija helped us um, give advice to people who were inquiring about diabetes. So that was a wonderful experience for the girls. Um, they also had um, attended a GP information evening, which was organized by Dr. Sean Deneen, who would bring a group of GPs into the Diabetes Center, and we discussed different issues around diabetes management in the community. Um, I think that's it. So progress assessments. Uh, given the major shift in the work environment, both in terms of language, 
and system differences, the curriculum considered assessment and feedback activity, activity during the program. So challenges were identified and discussions on how best to overcome these challenges were encouraged. Extra tuition was provided in areas of special interest, in areas of particular difficulties, and discussions took place on projects that they could potentially implement in their own diabetes centre upon their return. So feedback from the Diabetes Centre in Khartoum. I think it's been a positive experience for all of us involved, for us in Galway as well. We have since had um, a diabetes educator from Germany uh, spend a couple of weeks with us, and we've had a, a, a nurse from Switzerland spend some time with us as well. So it's, it gave us the confidence to, to move forward and do a few more of these uh, programmes. Um, both nurses have advised on best practice guidelines and on, and on ways to implement new services. Uh, main areas of focus for the two nurses were patient education, uh, blood glucose monitoring and insulin ins ins intensification programs. And I hope that this they are implementing in their own centre. And advising on the development of diabetes education programs that they could perhaps do in, in, in Khartoum, in their own centre, um, something along the lines of the Desmond education program for people with type 2 diabetes, and developing education resources for patients with diabetes as well. So we did supply the girls with um, a lot of the education resources that we are using in Galway. Um, next steps would be to strengthen the links between the two diabetes centres. Um, I think probably to develop a web-based support facility for the nurses after they went back to Sudan, uh, maybe if they had any queries or questions for us. Um, structure a curriculum to include more focused skills training for the development of some subspecialist clinics like um, young adults, combined nephrology, diabetes, um, develop diabetes education tools, tools that can be replicated in Sudan, develop a more formal education program through centres of education uh, in Galway um, or NUI Galway, develop similar initiatives in other clinical areas and other specialties, like for example stroke care, cardiology or oncology, and perhaps an exchange visit to the diabetes centre as well. Um, and just a few comments that were made on this initiative, um, heartfelt gratitude for those, these wonderful opportunities for knowledge and expertise exchange that is obviously very crucial to raising standards of diabetes care for patients with diabetes in our beloved Sudan. We hope to aspire for even greater opportunities to further strengthen the relationship between the medical communities in Sudan and Ireland. And this one, which I thought was really nice, I am really so glad one step forward in nursing, truly thumbs up for Khadija and Mayesa and all those who care and are trying to help. I hope that this will be a glimpse of hope for the future of nursing in our beloved Sudan. Thank you, University Hospital Galway, Mayesa and Khadija, and hope you can all leave footprints, footprints on the lives you touch. And in conclusion, uh, this exchange has provided both parties with an acceptance and understanding of an array of different cultural and community perspectives, an awareness and adoption of an alternative and multifaceted approach to learning, a sense of accomplishment upon completion of the programme, which hopefully will foster the development of independent options, informed decisions and a philosophy to provide the best possible care to our patients with diabetes in our different but challenging environments. And just to finish, uh, Sukran Jazlan, thank you.